A former Commonwealth Secretary General Emek Anyoko says the 1999 constitution as amended lacks the legitimacy of Nigerians. Anyoko spoke during a national constitutional dialogue organized by a group of non-political leaders called the Patriots in honor of Ben Mwabwezi, the pioneer Secretary General of the Ohanese and Debo. The colloquium was themed Lawful Procedures for Actualizing a People's Constitution for Nigeria. Our correspondent, Paul George, reports. Fewer than they should be, but large enough for this constitutional review, the nation's three major regions, the Alsas, Yorubans, and Igbos were ably represented at this gathering. In his welcome address, the former Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Kalu Idika Kalu, says Nigeria ought to have become a nation after 64 years of high existence. Also, the former Commonwealth Secretary General and Chairman of the Patriots, Chief Emeka Anyoko, called for a new constitution. It's a pity that so many fundamental issues are still dangling. Issues of political rights, this unwholesome north-south divide. After 64 years, we should all be gathered here as full-fledged Nigerians of all corners of this nation. And our present 1999 constitution as amended not only lacks the legitimacy that flows from a democratically made constitution, but also has proved to be unsuitable for tackling many of the serious challenges currently confronting our country. The keynote speaker, senior advocate of Nigeria, Mike Ozekume, while providing solutions to the current constitutional challenges, advised Nigerians to get another constitution through a referendum and not an amendment. Nigerians must own their own constitution through a popular referendum of the people, like was done to the Midwest constitution, on the 10th of August, 1963, when it separated from Western region. Without that, we will just be on a journey to no destination. Make no mistake about that. The executive governors, present and past, including Babajide Sonwulu of Lagos State and Aminu Tambural of Sokoto State, both were in support of a new constitution. Speakers, one of the speakers, have talked about the fact that it's not the National Assembly that will make those amendments. And it, it makes a lot of logical sense. It is for the National Assembly to set up, to constitute a law, a simple law, where the people will come together and make those amendments for themselves. I stand here as a leader of the United state. And if it is a voice to use me as an advocate to take that forward in the National Assembly, then it comes a voice for us to take it forward. Let me support my brother, the Governor of Lagos. We are there, Governor Benga Daniel. We will provide our offices to collaborate with this uh, departure and all well-meaning Nigerians to move and promote that bill that will now establish Former governor of River State and the immediate past minister of transport, Rotimi Amechi, showed concern for Nigeria's future. This conference is to produce a South-South president. Each ethnic group will start to prove federalism, prove federalism, they give them power, they move in. Prove federalism will retire. Is there anything federalism again in South-South? But it's okay. We not come, we produce a president. Any change? Is there any change? With the promises made by the stakeholders in this national constitutional dialogue, Nigerians are hopeful for a progressive future. Paul George, Plus TV News.